How's that? Rolling. Oh, nice. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Hey. <laughs> Here I am. We're back. Hey. hey. <laughs> What's up? Not much. I'm excited to answer some more questions. Okay. They're, they're, they're flying in. I know. Well, I think um, everybody has questions because everybody wants their wedding to be perfect and they... Yeah, people want to do the right thing. They don't always know. I love it when you, I love it when I don't know what well, the question is. Well, because when you're planning a wedding, mm -hmm. everybody has an opinion. Yes, like friends, yeah. family, whatever. But it's like, well, they don't know because they haven't done it either, so you want to ask a professional. Hey, that's Which, where we come in. We've been around the block. We've been we've been around for a long time. We're definitely <laughs> professionals when it comes to weddings. Yes. Okay, you ready? I am. I'm so excited. I don't know what it says. I can't wait. All right. Our latest installment of Ask the Snappers. I'm ready. Dear Snappers. That's us. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you about your thoughts on makeup. Mm -hmm. I don't normally wear much. I prefer a natural look, and I want to look like myself on the wedding day. Mm -hmm. But what is best for photos? Also, oh, I'm undecided about wearing a veil and jewelry because I'm more plain and don't want to overdo it. Thanks for your help. Natural and arrogant. Aww. Well, I would say that we're 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 both in the semi-natural camp of things, so I can relate to somebody who doesn't want to be over yeah, the top yeah. with their hair and makeup. Like, you know, hair and makeup. Well, I think that sometimes. It's funny. There's so many things about a wedding that I think makes people think it's going to look like the 80s. Yeah. Like, I, I don't, it's weird. It's like that era of weddings was so over the top. Well, it traumatized people. That what people happened. are traumatized. Yeah. <laughs> Even if their parents got married in the 90s. There's still, like, people still refer to things that happened in the 80s. For example. Even if they weren't even really born in the 80s, they're no, still traumatized by that Insane decade. Insane blue or whatever mascara and, like crazy eyeliner mm -hmm. and like red lips and puffy blush. sleeves yeah. yeah puffy sleeves a crown and a veil that does that yeah. like it's really that's not really a thing a, anymore though but nobody does that no you're so, not gonna get tricked into that look i think with makeup um you want to be camera ready there is a difference between uh not wearing a lot of makeup and not looking like haggard yeah, like you don't want to, you don't want to have a lot of makeup, but you also don't want to look like you just woke up, no. like in a bad way. I, I think know. that the natural, the natural way that you normally roll out the door in the morning is not at all the way. It's that, not camera ready. It's not camera ready. It's no, not. and and the professional people that do makeup do an amazing job, and you can say, "I want a natural look," and they'll put tons of makeup on you, and you'll look natural. Yes, so that, that's that's it. You're wearing tons of makeup so that you're flawless. Your skin is flawless, and your eyes look bright, and all yeah. that. And you, you know, basically, um, you have definition in <clears throat> your cheekbones. It's you, yeah, but highlighted. Yes. So you look like yourself. People aren't gonna say like, "Oh, yeah. what are you doing?" People right. say, "Wow, you look so good. Right. Your skin's perfect." It's gonna, Which is what it's you going want. to feel like a lot, but it's going to look really good. And then in the photos, it's gonna look yeah really good. Do you remember that wedding that we did many years ago where we got to the house and the bride was supposed to be ready or getting ready and she was coming up from the beach after a swim? Oh. And she towel dried her hair and blow dried it upside down. Yeah, she then... took a shower. She's like, I'm just going to, she came up to the, the, the wedding was at their house yeah. in Little Compton. Yes. And she came up from the beach and she said, oh, you guys are here. I'll just take a quick shower and I'll be out. Yeah. And she wasn't kidding. She took a shower. <laughs> Threw on her dress and came out with wet hair, like, and maybe lip gloss. I don't yeah. even know if she wore lip gloss. Lip gloss and mascara is not gonna cut it. It's gonna take a lot. You know more what also that. happens? It doesn't look right. It's like you have a gown on, but then your face and your hair aren't like done up. You kind of need to match, to match it all up. Your face and your body needs to be going to the same it's party. It's like summer afternoon, yeah, hanging out, but right. then like a formal. formal dress. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Right. It's a disconnect. Speaking of. And I don't know that she's a person who would care. Yeah. But that was many years ago. That was also, yeah. that was a really long time ago. But yeah. I feel like nowadays, I think everybody really cares and they really want to look their best. And they, they, that's why she's asking, like, what should I do? Right. But I think you don't have to worry about looking natural. I think that that's just, that is a look in makeup. Yes. And you know what is really good is that airbrush stuff they do. The Does foundation. Not come off. You can cry yeah. on it. Sweat, you can rub it. Dance. Sweating. It, it stays yeah. on the entire... 
so many people have had that, and then at like 10 o'clock at night, I'm like, wow, you still yeah. look really good. The first time I saw that was um, at a Belmare wedding a few years back. Yeah. I remember it was Maria Lechner. If you're watching Maria, hey, yeah, great makeup. <laughs> Um, and at the end of the day, I looked over at her and I, and she had been dancing and running around outside and everything. And I just thought like, what is going on? Why does she still look like that? That was my first exposure to, yeah. to the air Well, because when I saw people doing it, I thought it was insane. I thought, well, okay, now that's yeah. still over the top. They're airbrushing her face. That doesn't yeah. make any sense. Like, right. that's ridiculous. And it would seem like, oh, that's going to be too much and overdone, but it's no, not. It's yeah. the, actually the opposite, the it's, total opposite. It's very, uh... A light. It just yeah. makes everything just smooth and so awesome. airbrush with a natural look. Yeah, if yeah. you don't like makeup, and if you do like makeup, hey, go for it. Lashes. You just do your thing. But yeah, yeah, a lot of people do lashes. That's very popular yeah. now. It really does define. It gives it a nice. Your eyes pop. The eyes pop. Picks. It's really, yeah. really nice. Yeah. And then in terms of like, she was also asking about a veil. So in terms of people who are more sort of plain in their in their everyday life. Yeah. Not a lot of makeup, like simple clothes, like just classic style. Yeah. They feel a little funny. They feel I, a little weird or ridiculous. I veil. think that there's no such thing as a veil that's too big. I know you love a good veil. I'm kind of We love the, a veil. I'm kind of from the Fo- you know, photo wise, yes. the veil just gives us so many opportunities okay. to do. But great also pictures. true. You've seen this a million times. Yeah. The bride puts her dress on, she's got her makeup and her hair down, and it's like, oh, you look so pretty. And then when they put the veil on, everybody goes, Oh Yeah. Oh. It's it like finishes the look. Yeah. It now you're you a bride. bride. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So even like a little veil, I don't know, that you can only wear a veil one time. And in even your whole if you life. only wear it for a portion of the day, you know, coming down the aisle or you know for some pictures and then take it off for other pictures it, it just adds such a romantic element to it it's great yes. for photos like the sunlight comes I was just gonna say that's what we love the, Romance, the, the wind with a breezy veil a blowing Forget veil it. a little a little dappily light coming through that veil it's glowy. so fun you know what yeah. else too it's really nice to smooth the arms like if you're mm. if you feel like self-conscious about your arms it does break up that kind of gives flesh it a nice between softness your neck and shoulder and arm it just yeah well it connects your head to your body because sometimes with uh, uh, strapless dresses are probably the most popular thing right now although right. sleeves I feel like are making a comeback it's yeah, just slow obviously. But um, with, so with strapless, you have the dress is like down here, but then you have all this skin up to mm. the top of your head. So the veil kind of connects it all because otherwise it's like a lot of skin. Mm. And she was asking about jewelry. And I think the same thing with like a statement necklace or something that kind of like anchors things here makes a lot of sense. Whenever anybody has done that, I think, oh, yeah, that really like works. Mm. I've heard people say like, oh, my dress has bling on it, so I don't want to wear bling. Mm. But that's not... I know, I it feel doesn't like look too much. looking at the bride when she just has the dress and nothing here, it's like your your eye just keeps going down. It's like he- bottom heavy. Mm-hmm. And then, but if you have something around your neck, it keeps your focus like mm-hmm. here in this like really pretty, pretty part. It does, yeah. it does. And, and also, it's a great opportunity to wear something kind of fun, like pull the whole look yeah. together. So yes, veil, makeup. All of it, do it all. <laughs> I feel like no matter what your style is, even if you're really like, classic and simple you could still do makeup veil and jewelry that is your style with but yet really look great yes and if you love blingy crazy stuff go all out yeah I mean why not it's yeah. the one day you can wear a veil with sparkles all over it and nobody's gonna right say why are you wearing that yeah if you do it on a regular Tuesday yeah it's a little weird so I'm all for all the stuff <laughs> Now, I just got married last year, and now already looking at my photos, I'm like, you know, I really should have done a statement necklace. Really? Yes. But you had, you had like, <sighs> you had sleeves and everything. I you know. You still wish you had a necklace on? Kind of. Yeah. Maybe not Maybe not too big, but yeah. a little something. Okay. Oh, and I hated my shoes. <laughs> We're not talking. She didn't ask about shoes. Oh. <laughs> Get fun shoes. <laughs> fun everything. I mean, I don't think I have to, well... I think a lot of people, most people are cool with getting, I mean, that's like their psyche to get sparkly, crazy, yes. high heel shoes. Yes. But I don't think you have to sacrifice comfort for sparkle. Here we go. <laughs> Miss Comfort Shoes. Now, I mean, I'm not saying you should buy Clark she, shoes you for your get, <laughs> You've got a, you've got a bum toe. Uh, I, you know, uh, don't listen to her. Okay. Go 
okay, listener. don't listen to me. Wear Get yourself a you pair want. of like sparkly tennis shoes or flip flops for the reception, but wear some kind of fun shoe, even if it hurts your feet for the wedding. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't listen. No. Okay, so what we've learned is don't listen to me. <laughs> no, up until that point. You're oh, good. okay. You're Not good. all the time, just up until. Just up until that point. You okay, know, don't we're... take any advice from me on shoes. No. At all. No. Because I'm going to go frumpy all the way. Yeah. Because I need comfort over anything. Yeah. Which doesn't really look no. good. Okay, frumpy feet, but not a frumpy face. Yeah, well, okay. Don't. We just agree on that. We'll agree on that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. All right. Um, Narragansett? Yeah, natural Narragansett. All right. Hopefully that there was helpful. Go. And uh, get your get your trial makeup done and see how fabulous and get a nice big puppy veil. Yeah, wear it around the house. And, and some fabulous jewelry. It so you feel more comfortable. Maybe, the, too, the when you go for your uh, fittings for the dress, yeah. maybe buy a couple of different jewelry, like let's say three different options mm -hmm. for jewelry, and bring it when you go for your fitting. Because you go to the fitting pretty close to the wedding. Uh, yes. You go a couple of times. Yeah, well, yeah, you have your so final fitting. So try everything on with with the dress. You get the consensus. And then just return what you don't yeah. use. There you go. Good advice. Okay. Hey, all right. <laughs> I redeemed myself. <laughs> Very good. All right. Well, thanks for listening. Hopefully that was helpful. You look pretty today. Oh. Your makeup's nice. Oh. It's not airbrushed. <laughs> I just did it myself. But you know what I'm using? What? <clears throat> Is like the stick. Oh, yeah. So it's like I a use sheen. stick, too. And I think you said this too. The powder yeah. is no, no bueno. Oh yeah. Well, we're not as young as our clients, but that's true. Once you get over a certain age, no powder. The powder was just making me look kind of like a corpse, and then I had to like paint my face on, and it's not going. <laughs> corpse well. photographer is not a thing. Okay. <laughs> anyway, it's it's much better now. So cheers. Cheers. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Bye. And we're ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave that in. I won't. Okay.